What do you think the first thing a reader notices in one of your cartoons? No, it's not your signature. It's the characters. Hi, I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. That's right, it's the characters. They're noticing uh, who they are and what they're wearing. And that's important because clothes make the person. And that's what we'll be doing today, creating our own cartoon types. And we'll be using our neat cartooning invention that I made, and it's called the Wheel of Features, and it can create over 10,000 different cartoon faces. And for our feature of the day, Move Size Eyes. This is a great one. You'll love this one. This is a way to add some movement to your drawings. And for our doodle trick portion, a cartooning riddle. What goes together like a bowling pin and a bowling ball? Well, stick around and we'll draw the answer to that one. So if you're ready, all right, let's get going. All right, the first couple types that we're going to draw are a couple of wacky types, like zanies. And uh, there's a couple ways to do that. So let's get started and let's see. Let's draw from an onion shape. And that's a great way to remember it with a well-known shape. You can always remember something to start out with. There's an onion. Now, from an onion, let's draw a wacky character. Let's put a nose in like that, pointy nose. So far, he's not so wacky, but if we give him a smile line that's like a broken line like this, that makes him look a little crazy. And, of course, the hair. And let's have his tongue out. Yeah, that works, too. Now, for his eyes, and this is what's really going to draw this sketch together, swirls. One. Not perfectly round, either. And one eyebrow that way, and the other brow well, a little bit lower. Not exactly perfectly matched. And one ear here, one ear there, and there he is. That's a great, great zany character. Now, there's a lot of ways to mix and match features to come up with a lot of different characters. So let's go back and let's do another wacky kind of character, and this time we'll give them different eyes and teeth showing and all that. So, okay. We'll start with an oval, too. By the way, the different shapes are what also help to change the characters. Okay, now let's give him a long nose this way, like that. Some nostrils flaring out. Now, for his eyes, we're going to give him eyeballs. One there, and one smaller. And put one eye up there and one pupil down there. So already it's looking a little crazy. And his eyebrows, let's give him a staggered line. It's a little different than the other one. And some vibrations. These are cartoon effects and accessories, and that's what makes the eyebrow, the eyes look like they're gyrating. Okay, let's give him some ears. And some hair. Well, we've got to give him crazy hair, too. So let's give him some hair all stuck out like that. Almost looks a little bit like a mad professor. Now, for his smile, we've got to give him big teeth. Okay. A couple lines like this. Boom, there you go. Okay, a couple, couple wacky types to start out with. Uh, now I'd like to do a cartoon with uh, the body. And I want to show you a little trick here. And that is that from the same shape, we can get two totally different characters. Of course, we'll invert the shape. Watch, I'll show you what I mean. First, we'll start with, I guess you could say this is a triangle. A little different. It's got like a rounded top. Now, what we'll do is we're going to go in real tight and we're going to draw his face. Now, it's just a, an oval like that. And let's give him an expression. Now, expressions are very important. We're going to make a heroic type. You can tell from the broad shoulders. Now, there's the nose. Now, give him a big smile. And even a big chin like that. And let's give him some ears. And use for eyes. How's that? And that way, he'll look like he's proud. Let's give him some fluffy hair. And we're going to make this guy a lifeguard type. So, from this shape here, all we have to do is make a line right across the center. And we've got his waist. Now I'm going to make his bathing suit, which is nothing more than another little triangle shape. And from that point, come down like that, and his feet. And let's give him some a tank top for his lifeguard outfit. And we'll even write lifeguard just to further drive our point home. Okay. These are the actors. These are your actors, folks. These are what help tell your story. And big muscular arms. Okay, and there it is from a triangle. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go back and let's draw that same triangle, but we'll turn it upside down. We'll get a totally different type and a funny one at that. Okay. We'll start with the point on top this time. And what we do, right on this part here, we're going to cut it across like that. And that's going to be the fellow's head. It's going to be a big nose. And his expression is kind of 
stunned. So his mouth is in that way. And his eyebrows are half closed. His eye, eye lids, I mean. And here's his ear. And let's give him some hair. And let's give him some... He's not really stunned. I guess you'd say he's questioning what's going on. And let's give him some arms. Coming right out of that top. And here's his fist. And let's make it like he's wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, there you go. So you see, by creating uh, the, the triangle and upside down, he's got a large stomach. Now, down here, we need some legs for this fellow. But first, we'll put in some shorts and some legs coming out. Now, let's put his feet in, some toes, and let's have him standing on a scale. And that's what he's so upset about here. Now, for some cartoon effects and accessories, he's standing on the scale. Oh, first of all, you know what? Can't resist this. Give him polka dot underwear here. Okay. Now, for the scale, he's standing on the scale, and he's obviously very heavy, so let's have some springs coming out of it, some sound effects, boing, <laughs> tilt. You will see that in cartoons. And a couple uh, bolts coming out of it, maybe. And a caption, even, from the, from the scale. Hey. One at a time. Because that's an inanimate object coming to life, and you can do those kinds of things in cartoons. Okay, he's a great type. Let's do another one. Okay, now I'm going to show you some tricks with facial hair. And that's a way to get a lot of different types. Mustaches, beards, I'll show you what I mean. Start with a fella who's just a egg-shaped head with an ear over here and another one peeking out. Now, his head is turned a little bit, so... Remember, you think of these things as a balloon or an egg, a three-dimensional object. It has roundness, so the guidelines will be wrapping around. So let's put in his eyes. And just like that. And he's a very confident, strong man in the circus. That's a great type. And he's got his nose and a big, broad smile. Let's give him an earring. And that's it. Now, you see, not a whole lot of character there yet, but if we add a couple more facial, you know, uh, some facial hair and some hair on top, we can turn him into a great character. Let's see. Let's give him a, a Mohican mohawk right down the center and a big beard. Now he looks like he could be a strong man in a circus. And that was easy. A couple stubbles on the side. That's an easy one. Let's do another one. Okay, now I'll show you another one with facial hair and we can create an artist type. Now, we start with a different shape this time. How about we start with a shape like that? That's a freeform shape, isn't it? And we'll put in some eyes. Now, we'll make different kinds of eyes. This time, we'll make like two golf balls. And this one's a little bit behind that one, so it's a little bit covered by the first one. And we'll put his pupils in like that. I hope you're drawing along with me at home. This is very simple. As you notice, we're taking it step by step. Nothing to it. Let's give him a pointy nose. And we'll make him like a French artist type, the kind with a beret. Let's put beret. And a beret is another thing that helps to get more mileage out of your characters. That's a hat. And things like that also help you. That's clothes. Remember I said clothes make the person. And some hair coming out. And a little smile. Now, doesn't look like an artist yet. But if we add a little bit of facial hair like this and a goatee. We've got a great artist type. Now, not all artists have mustaches or beards, but... Oh. All right, let's do another one. Okay, I got, I'll tell you what, I'll show you another one. I got a prepare drawing here that I'd like to show you. And this is two guys, and I'll show you two different ways to make facial hair, like someone who needs a shave, like a five o'clock shadow. You got this guy on the left, and with him, we can just make these lines going sideways like this, right next to each other. Boom, you got a five o'clock shadow type. And even though we're working with a black marker, by making these lines go a little bit next to each other like that, you can create the illusion of gray. Now, for this fellow here, we'll make stubbles. And you get the same, you get a different effect, but you get the same effect of a, a guy who needs a shave. There you go. All right, let's do another one. And this time, let's draw a woman who's an anchor woman for television. So let's start with her face. 
And this kind of type would have a big, broad smile. We'll start with a diamond shape. And just about that whole shape is taken up by her big smile. You know how it is when you're doing the news. They're always happy. I don't know. I don't know what's so happy about. But we'll give her eyes half closed, talking a mile a minute. And for her hair. Now, hair is very important because they always have that big, puffy hairstyle. And coming out the sides, uh, she's turned out to be a great shape, a great type. Put some earrings on her. All right. Now that we've got the face done, we're going to go back in and do the body. And the body, we're going to dress her up like a news anchor, give her like a bow or something, something very businessy. And her shoulders. And maybe she's holding the, the news copy in her hand, the paper. And she's sitting at a desk. And that's all we'll do for the props. And later on, we're going to do a whole show on props. And that's great fun. And maybe the map's behind her. And there it is. I'm going to put some color into this real quick. And as I said, you know, if you know how to do these characters, you can tell your story better. That's the whole idea of being able to create different cartoon types, isn't it? I mean, you can't have the same kind of character in every one of your cartoon situations, can you? Put some red for lipstick. I'm using my color tuning pencils for this. This makes it come alive, doesn't it? All right. Now, some. Let me switch to a broad tip for the hair and maybe make some big broad strokes like that and leave some white space because that creates a highlight or a shine. And that's pretty much all we have time for. Let me see. I'll put a little blue into her business suit. And take a look at that. Give it a little news music. How's that? Now the news. All right. Now let's go over and create a cartoon type from the Wheel of Features. All right, the wheel of features can create thousands and thousands of different kind of cartoon faces. And what we do is we spin the wheels, and whatever comes in this area, that's the face we draw. Ready? So let's spin it this way, that way. And no matter how many times I spin this thing, I always wonder why I'm not winning any money. I don't know. Okay, we've got... All right, let's say we've got that guy there with a the crew cut. And I'd say we'll go with these eyes right there. And that pointy nose. Oh, this is going to be a great face. Okay, let's get started. And we'll start with the outline, which is like this. And he's got a buzz cut. That's a great shape to start with. So some stubble on the side. Okay, now what kind of eyes we have? Now I call these the cut apple eyes. Like if you took an apple and you sliced it down like this, you would have the cross section with the seeds right here. That's the kind of cartoon eyes they are. Now, his eyebrows are down. He looks angry. And what kind of nose? He's got a little turned up nose. So let's draw that. And what kind of mouth? Oh, look at that mouth. This is going to make the thing look really silly. <laughs> there he is. Pretty crazy little character, I'd say. All right, next, move size eyes. Stay tuned for our feature of the day. Ready? Now we're going to move size eyes. First, we have to draw a picture of size. So let's get started doing that. And I've already got it penciled in. So what we'll do is we'll start with his nose. Give him a bulbous nose. Bulbous, like a light bulb. And a real funny mustache. In keeping with our theme today, which is types with different facial hairs and things like that. And there's his teeth, his lower lip, and his eyes. Now, it's important that you make these nice, curved, definite lines, because you're going to need them in a second when we get to the uh, fun part. And here's the eyebrows. Not that this isn't the fun part, folks. Hey, there's an ear. Here's an ear. And the chin line. And his head. And his funny hair is coming out. And here's size so far. And we've got his neck. That's Adam's apple. And you know where his head goes over the neck? 
I'm going to give a little bit of an extra line. See, that kind of creates a shadow, a three-dimensional object that makes out of it. And we're going to do a show on the four basic forms and how they are affected by light and shadow. Okay, now there's a picture aside. Now, what you want to do is you want to cut out something. Now, if you need help, have someone help you, but I'm using an exacto knife, very sharp knife, and what we're going to do is go into the eyes, and we're going to cut two slits, the length, the width, I mean, of the eyes themselves. One there, about a half an inch, and one there. Now, for the sake of time, I've got a finished version of Psy, all colored in, so let's go to that one right now. And here he is. And on a separate piece of paper, the width of, that, of the eyes, I've made a strip of paper with some lines on it. Any which way, zigzag, doesn't matter. And what we're going to do, which you probably already guessed, is we're going to thread it through that slit that we made. It's a little tricky. I'll get it. Here it is. Okay, ready? Now, this is the fun part. We're going to move size eyes. Here we go. By sliding it up and down, it goes every which way, and you can even go side to side. There he is. I like that one. Okay. Now, try this one at home. It's great fun. Next up, cartoon doodle tricks. For our doodle tricks today, we'll do alphabet tunes to warm up. And we'll start with the letter F. And we'll draw a ballerina from the letter F. Now, right here, we'll put a circle and a neck. And this will be the ballerina. We'll put her nose in like that and a big smile. And she's happy about this, so we'll give her her eyebrows up and her eyes are closed, happy. And some ears, earrings. And let's have her hair up in a bun. And okay, now this part here can be for her arm and then her hand at the end. And this one here can be her other arm. And she's in a dance pose. There's a thumb, fingers, and there it is. And this part here hanging over, we'll make that into her body, and then we'll put her ballerina outfit on. That was easy. And we'll extend this line down. This will be her leg with her ballerina shoes. And this leg here is facing out this way. And we can put some shadow effects mount down here and we'll put her on a stage and we'll put some circles here to indicate the people watching and some musical notes let me see what else even a spotlight she's on stage how's that there you go i like that one let's do another one this time we'll do the letter k and k is a great one to do okay We'll start with a K right here, and we'll draw a woodpecker. See how this one comes out. Put a circle there, and let's have him looking at us, just like that. And let's give him a smile right in the center there, like that. And his nose, and that's his beak, his eyebrow. And let's give him some funny feathers going back this way. And here's his head, and there's his body and some tail feathers. Here's his legs, his feet, sitting on the branch that's coming out of this line here, which will be the tree. Let's give him some wings, too. Okay, now we'll put a knot hole right here to make it look like a tree. And here's the rest of the tree, and here's the bark, and some sound effects. Peck, peck. I like that. Now these next couple cartoons are called Kiss Cartoons. These are really cute. You'll like these. Okay, start with a square shape. More like a rectangle, actually. And we'll draw an envelope. Okay, now an envelope has that part that tucks over, the part you lick. And then this part here. 
All right, now right about here, I'm going to put some squiggly lines that won't make a lot of sense to you yet, but you'll see. These are really cute. I love Kiss cartoons. And some more squiggly lines here. And a U shape there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a U. It's actually a C. And some lines coming out of there. And some fluffy strokes like that. And there it is, the Kiss cartoon. No, not quite. We turn this picture on its side. We have the Kiss cartoon. And put a a heart up there, and we've got a fella kissing his girlfriend. Okay, let's do another one. And this one here is another letter. And we start with the letter X. And just like in a treasure map, it says X marks the spot. Well, in this case, X marks the spot where two fish fall in love. So, we make a line like this coming out of the point there and one out of there. And guess what? There it is. Some fins. And do one on this side too. And there you have it. Now, of course, for some cartoon effects and accessories, how about a heart or two? And some bubbles. There you go. And some action lines. And there it is. That's one of my favorites. I love that one. Now, do you remember in the beginning of the show, I asked the riddle, what goes together like a bowling ball and a bowling pin? Well, here's the answer to that one. Let's do that one right now. And here it is. How to draw a bowling ball. Very difficult. Watch this. Okay, now we're done with the bowling ball, because that's all there is to it. Of course, we can put a little more detail in it, like the finger holes. And one there. Okay, now let's draw the bowling pin. Just like that. Now, what goes together like these two guys? Well, let's see. Make this into an eye, and this into an eye, and some wiggly lines like that for a mustache, and some eyebrows, and a U shape there. We'll make that into teeth. And now, an ear over here. And as you can see, it's already turning out into, into a man, but what kind of man? A figure eight on its side, turn this is, turns this into a hat, and the kind of guy it is is a magician. So what goes together with a magician? That's right, a rabbit. So if we add a line to this and some detail in it, there's the nose, a big old smile, Coming out of this side, and some whiskers, and this is his rabbit, and let's make his eyes looking up, and some whiskers down here for him too, like a little beard, and there it is, let's give him a tuxedo jacket, a magician, and his rabbit. And that's all the time we have for today, I hope you've enjoyed it, and for our blitz tip, I think this is a good one too. When you want to learn how to do something, unfortunately, there's no way around it. You have to work hard and you have to practice. There's no easy way out. And if you think that there is, you'll be like this guy right here. Don't go through life looking for something simple, because you may find it. Where? In the mirror. I'm Bruce Blitz saying thanks for being with me today, and keep on cartooning.